Today I'm taking you to another structure of silence in Italy. This time the story is all about Mr. Francesco and Mrs. Luisa. A couple that was joyfully in love and lived a serene remote life amid the Italian peasant landscape, alone with nature. They eventually lived up to a fulfilled life after creating a lot of prosperity for their time through viticulture and also giving birth to several children. In 2005, they left their idyllic country house behind for good and never returned. Where they are now remains unanswered. Nigh 20 years later, the building has become a destiny of the elements. The wall paint is starting to get a second life and cobwebs surround the once majestically carved headboards of the beds. Let's nostalgically daydream together today as we reveal the unseen and try to find out the unknown about this notorious Italian couple. Welcome back everyone on a brand new Italy episode. I'm currently standing at a huge property and this was once evidently a farmhouse. I don't know much history about this place yet but as you know that's what exploring is good for and that's what we're gonna do today together. So yeah I'm just walking around for a little bit because I've not scanned out these areas very well yet. I'm just gonna start over here outside because as I told you, the property is huge. They had lots of land. The sun is slowly getting down. Over there they had a huge shed. But I have to be careful because on the way to here, there were snakes in these bushes. So I think it's not a good idea to go there. Over there you can already see the roof and a part of the facet of the building we are gonna explore in a bit. Honestly, this farmhouse is already abandoned for a long time. We've already checked the inside and it's very, very decaying. Wow, this is actually beautiful. And right over here, we enter the front garden. Look over here, all the ivy is just taking over the entire structure. And there she is. A huge mansion again. So far during this trip we've not seen any ordinary simple and small houses. All of them were big properties one by one. This is strange. I was probably once standing inside. I think I'm taking this route. Which 
is to be as safe from the snakes as possible because there was a huge venomous black snake right in front of us just half an hour ago when we were walking here all right so it's strange because this is a part of the property and that is a part that part it is entirely ransacked like normally I wouldn't even film it but over here is a part and behind it it is beautiful now what I do think is is that it has been sealed for a long time and recently somebody apparently broke it open well we're gonna take adventure of it but firstly I'm gonna give you a tour around the outside and quickly show you this part that is very vandalized over there you can still see their garden seeds if you're even able to see it with all that ivy and vegetation once the front door of this part I don't know yet where they exactly farmed in, but I definitely think they had livestock. And I also think that they were wine farmers. Dang. This is another part, which is an entire shed. You're about to see it in a bit from the inside. This is strange. I think it's Medusa, but I'm not sure. Just some stuff thrown outside over here. <laughs> also a home trainer standing. That's actually one of those bottles where they would store their wine inside. A little child bicycle here on the ground. All right, time to put on my mask. The gloves I'm already wearing. Now let's show you the first part. Dang. What a huge mess. Like I told you, if it was not the other part that is still quite well preserved, I wouldn't have even showed this place. Because it has sadly enough just been a victim of vandalism. People with no respect. All the clothes are just dumped around here. But they had a palm tree on their wall. I think they definitely love tropical destinations. Italy is one of them, but not always. It can also be very rainy here and cold. Especially in the north of Italy. So this one's the hallway. You can clearly tell. It's entirely ransacked. All these woman pumps here on the grounds. Poor. I can barely even walk here anymore. <laughs> Look at this. That's funny. It's actually school notes. So I think they had children going to school. It's actually physics. Well, over here they had a little bot room. What's over here? Lions Club. I think it was a sports club with their children maybe. There's also some medallions over here. Well, it is actually a huge room. 
And that's quite impressive, all these concave shapes of the ceilings, but I think that's for it because the beauty of this place is hardly visible anymore due to the massive amount of stuff that has just been trashed around. So sad. Those are not even vandalists, those are burglars. Just hoping to find valuables. And in search of them, they just throw everything around. Now you probably also understand why we are always so discreet with our locations. We try to blur as much as we can. We never share addresses, definitely not in public. Um, but nowadays you definitely need to be careful because not everybody who's watching is thinking, oh, nice. No, some people are just searching for the address to eventually steal stuff. But anyway, this was once the place where they would came in. The main door, <laughs> quite cool wallpaper. And look how this is made. We can go two directions. Over here is a book of 2003-2004. Oh, ceiling is quite low here. It's another bathroom. Actually very cute. Then right underneath the stairs over there they could store some additional stuff. Wow. I did not even notice it up till now, but right above my head it's crowded by cobwebs. Well, let's just go here first. Dang! Okay, apart from all the vandalism, this is quite impressive. Wow! The biconcave ceilings, the arcs and columns in the middle. This was not just a normal property. These people were definitely wealthy. That's one thing for sure. So sad that it's entirely trashed over here. Because it would have been a beautiful room once. Well, we have a picture over here. I guess this woman once lived there. She's a beautiful Italian woman. This is a document of their bank. I think her name was Marion. There is also just huge windows, they are very tall with these curtains. I think this was a little office part. Calendar of 2005. What's this on the door over here? Aida La Bohem Tosca Don Carlos Macbeth. And all those names are written with it. Maybe they were also doing stuff for a theater. I really don't know. By the way, excuse me if I'm rushing a little bit, but I just don't like to see trash places like this. I just love to see the time capsules where only nature has done damage and not just reckless vandalists. But yeah, I'm still showing it to you. Once their kitchen 
and also beautiful arcs over here. There are so many photos in the wall. Plenty of memories. Class pictures. A woman over there. Baby photo. Pictures on holidays. As I said, they love tropical destinations. Well, and over here it's very dark. Let's see if I can do something about it. It's better. This looks like a reception desk or something. Let's see what's upstairs of here. All right, not anything of interest. All right, and lastly, let's go upstairs. But before doing that, look at the beautiful marriage picture over here of a beautiful girl as well. I really love how everything is built. These thick stone walls. Oh, I think this was another sort of attic part. Maybe there is some interesting storage over here. Well, at least some very old machinery. Some old bikes over here, very, very old ones, completely rusty and stuff. They've been standing here for decades. Maybe even when the people still lived there, they did not use these bikes anymore. And they were just stored there. Not a part of the adding, and this is strange. What do you think this served for? All these sticks, they hung up in this shape and structure. I really don't know. All right. I'm going out of this ransack place to make my way to the interesting place. And trust me, I think you're going to be quite surprised about its beauty. Whoa. All right, the hole's not that big, but I will manage to squeeze my way through, guys. You know me. All right, there we are. Well, let's see how this beauty looks like. Wow. Look above me. Some beautiful paintwork. All those wooden ceiling beams in between them. And over there is the family coat of arms, I guess. Some Renaissance style columns on the sides. And a huge staircase. You can tell it was once a grand property, for sure. Just gonna start off over here. These lamps look like African to me or something. I really love the door posts. Look above me. 
all painted again. Of course, we're in Italy. Picture somewhere in the mountains. Oh, all right. Just a bathroom. You can tell it's in a less ransacked state than the other part. There's still a razor over there. All their grooming products. Dang. Nature will soon conquer this battle. <laughs> All these roots are just emerging inside. Wow. What's this over here? Oh my. Now this is beautiful people. You can tell it's a little bit vandalized here and there, but have a look at the ceiling. Wow. This forestal theme with all those leaves and roots and the shape of the ceiling as well in a sort of cube. I'm impressed again. Well done, Italians. Well done. <laughs> I always love your paintwork. Those are some huge windows and curtains as well. They're like twice and a half my height. I'm talking about huge. Look at this mirror. Or yeah, vanity, whatever you want to call it, but it's also huge in size. Well, some fake plants over here. It's just plastic. That's why they were still uh, living. Some clothes have been thrown around of the wardrobe over here. Oh, and I love this. Have a look. A real portrait. I think this was once the man that lived inside of here. He looks quite gentle. What's this? an old family photo and look at this this man over here on the right is actually the man you've just seen right over here in the portrait what's all of this inside it's all just smash so sad they smashed all this crystal Well, this was another room. I think this was a dining room. There's the same man on the wall. Oh, and look at the ceiling and the wall paintings. Beautiful. At least that part is still pristine because nobody can reach it. Wow. The picture in a church on, on their wedding day, I think. Wow. Louisa is written here. Maybe what's the woman's name? You can hear the birds chirping in the background. This place is located very secludely. No di direct houses or any neighbors whatsoever. Just deep in the countryside. Peaceful and calm. 
was a very quiet place to live. Oh, look at this. Looks like a very old helmet for horse riding, maybe. Or for a bicycle. Oh, let's zoom in a little bit on the paintwork over there. And then we're back at the hallway again with the grand stairs. But I still haven't showed you this side of the building. I think this one used to be like a relaxing part. They had all these seats over here. During winter times, they could actually turn on the fireplace. Maybe they also had dinner over here, I don't know. They were definitely of a Roman Catholic belief. As most people were back in those days in Italy. And look over here. Quite old fashioned vacuum cleaner. I love how all the coats and everything are still hanging up in the coat rack. Left pristine. Let's check out the fridge. Nothing left inside of there anymore. Freezer maybe? Nope. Luckily for me. <laughs> All right. I don't think there's that much left inside of these cabinets. Oh well, there are still some food products. <laughs> but very nasty and moldy. <laughs> I think this was used to serve out the pizzas. Of course, we're in Italy, <laughs> but I haven't had any pizza yet. I'm not that cliche, but yeah, I still need to have some pasta and some pizza in Italy. Dang. Over here we have again those bi-concave ceilings. <laughs> the paint is peeling off everywhere in every little corner on the ceiling. It gives a very cool effect. And then this was another room, I think just another little living part or something. Over there is a candle from 1992. Maybe this part was abandoned previously than the other part. Because that one looked a little bit more modern than this one. I see a name over here, Francesco. I think that was the man's name. Is a news article of a student and then right next to it is a president maybe it was their son maybe he was very intelligent they were proud of him it must have a reason that the news article is hanging up there plenty of old photos it's the same man again I think it was definitely the past owner. You know, it's always said that all these personal memories are just left unloved. But on the other hand side, it also gives a lot of context to the place I'm exploring. And it makes you aware that it was not just a building, a mansion, no. It was once a home. Where people live, people spend their lifetime. And that's what I love about exploring abandoned homes. They all have their own unique story. I think that's for it for this room. It's quite a mess. 
Look at this. Wow. A painting of religion. Beautifully done. Oh, now this is cozy. Look at that kitchen. <laughs> they had very little space. Still some pans hanging up in the wall. But all those nails used to be for all of them. I always find it incredible how the last dishes are sometimes just left inside of these buildings. Like these people are still planning to return. But eventually something happened and they never did. And this must have been their shed part. Some wine stored on top of there as well. Plenty more over there. Looks like this was also their complete workshops. See so many vintage and old fashioned tools. Over here, they had these sort of cages. They would use them to store the food products inside. And the net was made to prevent any mice and rats from getting inside of the place where the food was stored. Because yeah, they obviously also love food. Otherwise they would just eat everything up. You can see the same thing over here too. Well, that's quite a huge basement again. What's this aware? Dang. Look at the very ancient paintwork on the ceiling. Oh, and this is the other side of the house. We can go back over there. But I spotted one last pair of stairs going up. I want to check it out. As the robbers I am as an explorer. And of course also very curious. Let's see. All right. Oh la la. Look how many wine bottles are left. <sighs> Around Two, three hundred or something. So yeah, maybe these people were indeed involved in the production and distribution of wine as wine farmers here in the Italian countryside. And maybe besides that, they also had some livestock to earn some extra money. I do think this was not done by vandals, but by their children who painted here on the wall of the attic. The sketches look quite old. <laughs> I really like it. A wizard who's smoking a fag? I think so. See over here. Nope, that was everything for this basement attic. All right, now let's go upstairs of this huge stairs over here. This building is so tall, and all the rooms are so spacious. You've seen the exterior, and you probably thinking that there is also an attic in this part, but there is not. There is only two floors 
for such a huge building. The same ceiling pattern comes back over here. Wow, not a beautiful old photo over here. Where we have these columns as well. This was once a huge canvas which was hanging up. Where are still some jackets? Oh, what's over here? All right. Another sort of attic part. It's very big. Dang. <laughs> this little ceiling has collapsed over here. It's nearly getting dark outside, meanwhile. I hope I can still show everything to you with proper daylight. But so far, so good, I think. Wow, look over here. Wow, oh wow, a beautiful bedroom. And of course, I particularly like this pram in the middle. Victory is written on it. Damn, what a beautiful piece. But also look at the beautiful antiques inside. I mean, this huge mirror over here probably was once used by the woman to put on her makeup. We can still see some lipstick and everything laying over there as well. Some palms on the ground. Wow, those are beautiful pieces of furniture. It's sad that they've been never reclaimed by someone. They are all just left to rot. Everything. Over there, another picture of the woman we've seen before. I think she was definitely the wife of the past donor, Mr. Francesco. And look at the beautiful curtains above the windows. Over here is another old picture. It's not Mr. Francesco, but maybe it was his brother or someone. Maybe a remembrance of him because he passed away earlier. Who knows? Wow, we have another room over here that is so pristine with a huge and beautiful wooden Italian bed. I love it. The old portraits over there as well. This was an old baby bed one day. I love it. Another picture of a boy. Oh, this is so cute. Look at this mini typewriter over here. <laughs> The very little one. Oh, 
always love the woodwork and the carvings on these Italian beds. Dang, it's a very old cover over here. What's inside this frame? Two people, I think they're family ancestors. And then talking about family ancestors, those two people wear them as well. And this is Mr. Francesco that we've seen earlier on the other portraits too. Also here are some beautiful window draperies up there. Let's see inside of here. Still some clothes left. It's not entirely empty. Yeah, well. And lastly, we have some other few rooms here. Oh, that's the Poe of Italy. <laughs> Actually, of Vatican City, of course, not Italy. But yeah, you get me. <laughs> Some wooden sleighs over here. Just some, st some chairs standing here. That's far red. I don't know why an umbrella is on the ground. We have some tools for horse riding. <laughs> is this really what I think it is? Yeah, it is. It's actually a Spider-Man costume for a child. <laughs> oh, that's quite funny. Old book from 1924. I think this is the last room. Another bedroom. Then let's end this video as the sun is going down. Right over here. Wow. I love it. Look at the view. We can see the mountains in the distance. Now with that having said, I think I'm going to close the video right over here. And I really hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, then you know the drill. Please hit the like button, subscribe to the channel down below for free. And also do not forget to leave a nice comment right down below in the comment section. And then as always, I want to thank you for watching again. Something is crumbling apart over here. It doesn't feel safe at all, so I think I'm going to go back. And yeah, thanks for watching.